Bust Out Poker Apparel and Accessories has changed the look of poker forever. Designed by poker players for poker players, Bust Out has premium quality men's and women's tees, hats, hoodies, specialty jerseys, and custom accessories. Isn't it time to start showing the world you're serious about your game? Then go to bustoutpoker.com and see our entire collection. Plus, get a sneak peek of our upcoming 2012 Bust Out Bait calendar. If you love poker, Bust Out is your brand. Bust Out Poker. Poker never had a dress code until now. Some of the best poker players in the world have come to the Jacksonville Poker Room at Orange Park Kennel Club for some high-limit cash game action. $50,000 just to sit at the table. Fortunes could be won or lost with just a turn of a card. We're running the table over. They're going to have those stats on TV, and it's going to be like percentage of hands won. Rick Raheem, 70%. 100%. I'm 100 right now, I'm 100%. He has 100% of hands dealt. All right, guys, I'm out. Yeah, but I'm saying, end of the day, you're going to be 70% nice, nice of hands dealt. That's okay. $50,000 buy-in event here, Chris. How excited are you? I know I'm all a tingle. Nine high-limit players here playing for more money than I'll ever see in my poker game. <laughs> the Jack's Poker Room in Jacksonville, Florida. All right, Eric Berger gets the Jacks 50K cash game started with a raise to 600 with two red queens. Blinds in his $50,000 minimum buy-in game are 100 and 200 with a $400 table ante paid by the big blind. John Raisner, last year's World Series of Poker main event runner-up, defends his big blind with King Jack. We're gonna see our first flop. King 5-8, two diamonds, and John checks his top pair. Eric, a former college basketball player, is going to make a continuation bet of 1400 That's just a bit shy of the pot. Hey, Chris, they say kings are ace magnets, so why wouldn't queens be king magnets? <laughs> Indeed. The turn is the ace of spades. No one likes that card. can't believe I folded ace-king. I'm such a bad player. Both players check, and it sounds like Rick Raheem wants his cards back. Oh. If he really did have ace-king. Oh, there? Eric is going to make the call and be disappointed that he couldn't cash in on a big starting hand early in this game. John rakes in a pot of $8,300. Yeah, but at least the other players at the table are putting a smile on his face here at Jack's Poker Room in Jacksonville, Florida. Grayson will put on a straddle. Putting on a straddle? How much? Four hundred straddle right now? Yeah, put it on. Do it. 800 I don't no. think that's happening. Tyler Smith, one of the most feared no limit hold players in the world, Chris, goaded into straddling. On the 800. Well, Paul's going to raise with ace 10 to 1200. Inexplicably, it's my favorite hand. No idea why. Eric's going to call with pocket deuces. Rick calls with any two cards, also known as King Eight of Spades. Smile, Chris! <laughs> Dan Kossoff from Jack's Poker Room just can't get enough of our Hollywood good looks, can he? <laughs> that was a bad idea. Isn't he supposed to call with any two cards here? Tyler has second thoughts about straddling. Listen up, kids. Peer pressure is bad. <laughs> All right, we see a flop of Jack of Clubs, Six of Spades, Tray of Clubs. All three players check. Rick should like to turn. King of Hearts. Paul bets 1600 That'll get Eric out of the way. Came along this far with you. I might as well see it all the way through. Rick calls, saying he's going to see it to the end. Careful, I got a flush draw. Paul bets 2600 with the nuts Broadway. Straight to the ace. I feel like he just hit a set of queens. A set of queens would be bad enough, but it's much worse than that, Rick. You said all these Florida guys play tight, right? So he's got to have the ace king here. Probably. Huh? Wow. Straight. 
Yeah, you caught up on the river. The dirty 30. That's what we call it in Jacksonville. Okay. The west side. They, they actually have that. <laughs> As we drove in today, Chris, we saw that motor home and that used car lot across the street. It was for sale for $49,000. Buying for this game is $50,000. We have nine Winnebago's on the table right now. Some a little more pimped out than the others. <laughs> Andrew Robel, known as good to see you in the online community, raises to 800 with Ace Jack off suit. Eric Utter from right here in Jacksonville. Calls with his queen jack. Could be trouble for him if a jack falls. And John comes along with a suited one gapper, a dream crusher of a hand. <laughs> We have a flop of eight of clubs, four of clubs, jack of hearts. John quickly checks, and we should see some action from the other two. Andrew is going to bet about two-thirds of the pot here, $2,200. Eric makes the call with his weaker top pair. John folds, and we're heads up to the turn which is the queen of clubs, a terrible card for Andrew, and an action killer for Eric as a flush is now possible. Andrew checks, as does Eric. And the river is the ten of spades. Both players check. And Eric will carefully win a pot of $7,400. Never be too careful. Never. That club on the turn saved Andrew some money at Eric's expense. It's a good shot of Paul Pedragula. He's a corporate jet pilot from St. Augustine. And poker's just a hobby for him, Chris. Uh, yeah, me oh, too. No. <laughs> me three. There's a, he's putting in 500 oh, gotcha. dead, so there's a 900 ante this hand for Rick's button. How sweet. There's a little extra pot. money in the pot this hand as Andrew Robo missed blinds and antes. I wonder if he was over at that great Aces Up Sushi Bar here at Jack's Poker Room. I know that's where I'd want to be. It's always my first stop. Paul, our pilot, has pocket sevens. Crazy. Raised to 1,000. There's Deb Jardina in the background. She's a new director here at Jack's Poker Room. She comes here from Wynn, Las Vegas. And you know, they're going to be opening a third poker room in the area soon, so she's not going to get any rest. <laughs> no rest at all. Andrew's going to raise to 3,800 with ace nine offsuit. Uh, Chris, I think he really wants that dead money you put in the pot. I, I was betting 4,200 if he didn't. He does not want to give up his children. Andrew has to spin around a pole all weekend long in Vegas for 4,200. He's not just giving that away. And there's a little known fact about Andrew Robo, Chris. Apparently, he likes to pole dance when he's not at the table, at least according to Chris Smith. <laughs> All right, Paul will make the call and will be out of position against the aggressive Robo for the rest of the hand. <laughs> Flop is eight of spades, king of hearts, queen of diamonds, and Paul quickly checks. Andrew does too. Looks like Paul is ready to find out just how strong Andrew is. Puts out a feeler bet of 2,600. All right, you win. And Andrew's going to give up his children. Let me see one. Just one. Okay. I'll do it. A seven. <laughs> Andrew takes a little peek at what he lost, too. I told you not to do it. Yeah. Bravo, sir. Now, that's not to say that that probably wasn't still the best hand. But you're All better. right, we'll be right back with more action from this great Jack's 50K <laughs> cash game at Jack's Poker Room in Jacksonville, Florida. Just on TV. Stay tuned.
This is Mike Sexton. Want to win at poker, finish in the money, and consistently win at cash games? Join me and other pros at a WPT boot camp. You'll get hands-on training, sharpen all aspects of your game, I'll let you do it the right way. and learn to play like a pro. Our two- and three-day camps are held at the most famous poker venues. Many students recoup their tuition after just one camp. Our goal is to make you the best poker player you are willing to be. Start winning now. Go to WPTBootCamp.com and put the odds in your favor. WPT Boot Camp, your fast track to the final table. Anti Up is your poker magazine dedicated to the everyday player and their poker rooms. Pick up a free copy at your favorite poker room nationwide each month. Visit AntiUpMagazine.com daily for breaking news and each week download our award winning poker cast. Join us on our action packed poker cruises to exotic destinations and find special deals on Anti Up gear and great poker products at AntiUpStore.com. Anti Up, it's your poker magazine. Welcome back to the Jacksonville Poker Room at Orange Park Kennel Club. Throughout the broadcast, you'll see graphics showing the chip stacks for all these high limit players and just how healthy those chip stacks are. As you see, Andrew Robo has $48,000 in chips just hanging out in his backpack. Going to add that to his initial buy-in. Um, Must be nice. Must be 20, but I'm going to have 15 behind it. Okay, okay, so, I mean, I would like it to, but... It looks like Jason Mercier wants a few more bolts himself, Chris. Looks like he's going to add about 15 grand to his stack. You know, he was on the cover of Annie Up back in uh, 2008. Right, I'm going to win. I'm going to play every hand until I win a pot. Well, Rick says he's playing every hand until he wins one and starts his quest with the worst hand in poker. 7-2 offsuit. Godspeed, Rick. Eric raises to 900 with a pair of fives. Looks like Paul wants to play your favorite hand, Chris. Ace-10 suited. I thought you were folding. Oh, Not his first time. Hand. Why would he fold? So me now. I got the second best. You're in third place. Flop is eight of spades, four of spades, six of diamonds, and we see two quick checks. Eric will check as well. And the turn is the ten of hearts. Paul now has the best hand. He bets fifteen hundred dollars. Rick raises to thirty-eight hundred. This is what he does, Chris. He loves to see if he can sense weakness, and then outplay people. Eric folds two of the cards. Rick will be looking for on the river to complete his double belly buster with a five or a nine. Water's warm. Jump in. This is Florida. Brett, are there seat cushions? This you are the neediest guy I've ever met. Are there seat cushions? <laughs> His hemorrhoids are acting up. Did you get a little cushion for him? They itch. What am I going to do? First pole dancing. Now we're talking about hemorrhoids, Chris. Meanwhile, Paul calls, and we'll see a nine of hearts on the river, giving Rick his straight. Paul will check. Notice how Rick talks more when he's bluffing or getting out of line? I think he talks a lot all the time. <laughs> That's true. Rick looking for some value. Bet 6800 Boys, I want to give you a lesson on how to win with seven deuce. Wow. You were not lying. Wow. You were really playing any hand until you won a pot. You're a sick man. How many seven deuces did you play? <laughs> you first one. one. First one. I swear to God. Double gut shot. Had a lot of outs on the turn. Chris is such a treat for me to watch a poker game like this. Fifty thousand dollar buy-in. I bet you didn't know this, uh, but did you know that's about five grand more than the median annual household income here in Florida? Oh, man. Household, <laughs> annual. <laughs> for these nine guys, it's just a day at the poker room. You know, what do you think you could buy with fifty thousand dollars? I'm pretty sure I could buy every car I've ever owned in my life. And still have money left over. I think I would buy a hundred thousand forever stamps. Mm. Or maybe the Los Angeles Dodgers. Alright, five hundred on the flop, I got black. I honestly don't remember what I pulled. We can do the next hand, because I don't remember what I pulled, and I'm not trying to cheat because of what I saw. We'll do it on the next hand. 
Drew a Falcon. Yeah, if it's all three of your color, you pay double. Okay. Eric makes the call, and we see a flop of Jack of Spades, Six of Diamonds, King of Spades, giving both players a pair of Jacks, and Rick a winning prop bet. <laughs> see, I would have won. I never win my prop bets. That's why I waited, you know, until the next hand. Mm -hmm. That's why I waited until the next hand. Well, I mean, honestly, did you think so you knew what you folded? I honestly didn't remember. I folded <laughs> Eric calls, and the turn is the Five of Spades. Jason improves to two pair, and Eric now picks up a flush draw. We're told that Eric Berger just got engaged, Chris. Congratulations. Maybe. Welcome to the institution. Eric calls, and the river is the ace of hearts, giving Eric no help. Jason's going to bet 4700 into what's turned into a healthy pot in a battle of the two blinds. Jason wins his first pot on our TV covers today worth $14,100. This is the second year that Jack's Poker Room has invited us to come up and do the television production for one of their great events. But it's the first time they've tried a cash game. I'm having an absolute blast, Chris. Me too. I absolutely love coming here. All right, Chris Smith's going to call along with a suited ace five. You know, Chris played at the famous New York Mayfair Club, produced the likes of Howard Letterer, Dan Harrington, Steve Zolotow, Eric Seidel. Perhaps you've heard of them. A few of them. Hall of Famers. Tyler Smith raises the 1,000 with suited king 10. Paul's going to call with a suited queen 9. Uh, recent law changes really helped put Florida on the map. You know, we've seen World Poker Tour events, World Series of Poker Circuit events here, and of course, high limit cash games like the one we have a front row seat for today. This is so exciting. Flop comes four of hearts. Four of spades, deuce of hearts. It's a good flop for Tyler with his two over cards and two hearts. He'll bet around half the pot here, 1,600 bucks. Paul doesn't believe him in calls. I wouldn't believe him either. <laughs> Turn is the deuce of spades. And Tyler's going to slow down. That checks exactly what Paul was looking for when he floated this flop. Paul bets 3500 You know, we got to chat with Tyler during a break and told him we saw a copy of the issue of Anti Up that he was on the cover on in the backseat of a car in the parking lot, Chris. He asked what kind of car it was, and we laughed and told him it was a beat up one. And he laughed right back and said it was probably mine. <laughs> Fifty thousand dollar buy-in, fifty dollar car. <laughs> Gotta love it. I love that about poker players. He has enough money to buy into a game like this that drives all this out in a beater. All right, Tyler calls, and the river completes his flush. I really like how deliberate he is with his chips. You just don't know what he's doing. Is he bluffing here or is he betting the nuts? He bets 7,400. Now you may think that Paul is just trying to get more TV time on our awesome television show. <laughs> but you know, he may seriously be thinking about calling here. Because Tyler really has a reputation for being loose, and he hasn't played a lot of hands today, so this could be a perfect time for him to be bluffing. Very good points. Show me do so. <laughs> Show me Wish do I so. could. Tyler's going to take down a $20,000 pot.
Tyler, what is this, your 15th time on TV? I often wonder how excited some of these pros get about being on TV. Is it just another day at the office for them? <laughs> I don't think it would ever be a day at the office for me, but you're right. I mean, some of these people are on TV every day. This is definitely not my 15th time on TV. Third? Millions of dollars have been won so by these guys. Yep. And now they're TV stars. Unless you count. Being in the stands. <laughs> cheering for something. Okay, John has raised a 700 with a 7-4 of diamonds. Chris calls with King-9 offsuit. And Tyler T.V. Smith looks down at suited ace-king and just calls. <laughs> Flop is the two of clubs, king of hearts, ten of diamonds. Tyler immediately checks, as does John. But Chris flips a single $1,000 chip in the middle. 32. Right, Tyler's going to break from his lunch to raise to 3,200. John folds. I have a feeling Tyler doesn't skip on the lunch. <laughs> Chris makes the call. Ooh, and he hits the turn with a nine of hearts. He's going to bet 7,400. And Chris will just call. Rivers, the king of clubs, a seemingly great card for both players, but we know. It's only good news for Chris. Tyler has to think he has the best hand here. Call. And there's $16,800 that Tyler will never see again. Gets an insta call from Chris who will take down a $57,000 pot. Chris Smith is a pro. Was Largest pot so far on the show, the nearly $60,000 no, headed the New Yorker's way. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with more high-limit cash game action at Jack's Poker Room in Orange Park, Florida. Anti Up is your poker magazine dedicated to the everyday player and their poker rooms. Pick up a free copy at your favorite poker room nationwide each month. Visit AntiUpMagazine.com daily for breaking news and each week download our award winning poker cast. Join us on our action packed poker cruises to exotic destinations and find special deals on Anti Up gear and great poker products at AntiUpStore.com. Anti Up, it's your poker magazine. This is Mike Sexton. Want to win at poker, finish in the money, and consistently win at cash games? Join me and other pros at a WPT boot camp. You'll get hands-on training, sharpen all aspects of your game, I'll let you do it the right way. and learn to play like a pro. Our two- and three-day camps are held at the most famous poker venues. Many students recoup their tuition after just one camp. Our goal is to make you the best poker player you are willing to be. Start winning now. Go to WPTBootCamp.com and put the odds in your favor. WPT Boot Camp, your fast track to the final table. Welcome back to the Jack's 50K Cash Game Buy-In. Here are our chip counts. And as you can see, Chris Smith's huge pot win over Tyler Smith is reflected in the totals. By the way, these guys aren't related. Black red? Sure. That was an only unit, just like before. Okay. Can't win two in a row. Want a bet? <laughs> <laughs> I do. Good to see that the table talk is back on the prop bets, Chris. <laughs> All right, Paul's got pocket queens, an unlucky hand at the table so far, and he's going to raise to 1,000. I might. John Raisner's going to re-raise to 3,000 with a suited 10-7. You know, sometimes he gets out of line a little, Chris, but we haven't seen him play very much, so this is a raise that's probably deserving of respect. Absolutely. The problem here is Paul's got queens, and he's not going to go anywhere. 
I mean, uh, I mean, Robo's gonna tip you hundred bucks. Well, a little surprisingly, he just calls. Perhaps yeah, trapping. Tip him, tip him with your money. Here we go. Here we go. No. Two black. Ship it. Thank you very much. This is easy game. All right, all those prop bets have been paid off now. Paul needs to figure out how he wants to play this flop full house. During all the prop bets he had checked, and John bet 4,500, a used Hyundai he'll never see again. Will Paul check, raise, or just call? He's thinking, do I want the Hyundai or do I want a Cadillac? <laughs> Remember, we still have Winnebago's on the table, too. That's right. He decides just to call. A nice move here. The turn is a seven of hearts. That's a great card for Paul as John pairs up. Two checks. You see the ten of the hearts on the river. Ricky Ticky Tavi. <laughs> A horrible card for John. He now has two pair of his own. Paul will bet seventy five hundred into the pot of almost sixteen thousand. This isn't an easy call for John. Three hearts on board, a paired board. An over card. <laughs> and John calls and gets the bad news. Paul wins a pot of almost $31,000. Nice hand. A little bit good. His eye. Chris Smith enjoying a massage. Yet another great amenity offered by the folks here at the Jack's Poker Room. Amenity Pro also provides massages on our Annie of Poker Cruises, Chris. I don't know about you, but I always play better when I'm relaxed. Yeah, nobody touches me at the poker table. <laughs> You're so weird. It's the best dollar a minute you can spend. It's so worth it. I wouldn't get 50,000 minutes of massage if we had the money these guys bought in for. <laughs> All right, Andrew Robles got pocket sixes. Finally a playable hand by our standards. Going to raise to eight hundred dollars. Paul has Queen Nine in the big blind defends. We'll see a flop of eight, four, Jack, two spades, and Paul's going to check his gut shot straight draw. All right, Andrew bets 1,200 and gets a quick call from Paul. The turn is the eight of clubs, and Paul again checks. The river brings us the six of hearts. Paul's going to make an ill-timed steal attempt, betting 2,600 into Andrew's full house. Andrew's really hoping that Paul has a naked eight here, even the jack. Decides that 16,000 is the right raise amount. But we know it's not. 16,000. It's a cannon shot right there. That cannon shot was Andrew winning a nice pot. Come on, straddle, Chris. Did you really? I don't think so. Is that live or did you, did you see? You right. goaded him into it. He you figures he's getting like it. more than that back in equity for now being like a 
a loose, crazy player on television. <laughs> I was asking like who was coming to this game and people just kept telling me like, oh, Chris Smith is here. Chris Smith is coming. Once again, the straddle discussion provides some TV gold for us, Chris. Chris, Chris what did you hear? Rick Free bets Paul to 3,800 with the same hand, ace TV queen. Shove, I'll call you. Let's, let's yeah. finally make a TV show. Seriously. Yeah. Call. Nice. Nice, this might be the best pot yet. Well, Paul doesn't take the bait. He just calls. I guess I have to continuation bet, right? Isn't that chapter one? Raise the guy who's trying to steal, and then I have to see bet to make him believe it. Certainly going to see some action here. As expected, Rick bets makes it eighty-five hundred dollars. <laughs> you told me that. Hey, you pay me, pay me. I win that bet, right? She did. I win that bet. If you shove, I'll call you. You got me, sir. I'll go home, eat a steak, get up, go back to the airport. Set of sixes is the nuts. Do you think he bought the whole C bet speech? Nice. Wow. Can you really hit a set? Paul's going to race a 17,000. See, this is where Rick's table talk and playing any two cards really pays off for him. Of course, in this hand, he's going to split. But normally, this is the type of hand that he would get paid off on. He said if he's sick if he's got a set of sixes. Well, I didn't bet it to fold and get bluffed. I'm all in. I don't know what I'm thinking. I bet that much. Why the f are wasting everyone's time? Excuse my and language. And we have our first all in of the broadcast. I mean, why on earth? Rick shoves for $36,400. I guarantee if you fold, I'm going to show the bluff and I'm going to f you off. Just begging me to call. Or the other thing. I read the book of tells. I'm looking in the eye and talking a lot. I'm implying that I got it. Of course, it could be reverse psychology. Reverse, reverse. I don't know. Mike Caro, the the, the what, what do they call it? The, the the maniac. The uh, what's he called? Mad, the mad genius. mad genius. Well, I'm I'm far from a genius, but I am that other thing. Thought they could take the heat in Florida, Robel. I thought they were used to the heat down here, right? This is Florida. I thought they were used to the heat. <laughs> Come on, send me home. Put me out of my misery. Let me call the wife. Tell her I'll be home early. It's okay. Call. You deserve it. Okay. What do you want to do, huh? I'll run twice. I'll do whatever you want, sir. I'll run it twice, please. Twice is nice. I got the best one. Uh oh, Same. drop it up. Drop it Next. Back door, back door. Next. Next. There's no back door here. And we, of course, are denied our first chance to run it twice since I wouldn't change the outcome. Split pot. Nice hand, both of you. Yes. Well, I would have been sick if you laid it down and he showed you the same hand. I would have thrown up. It would have been, it would have been much better if you I would have thrown up. He talked too much. That's why I called. <laughs> I love that. Paul says Rick talked him into him calling by, well, talking too much. <laughs> Well, at least we're not afraid to get it all in. All these other guys. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with more High Limit Cash Game action from Jack's Poker Room in Orange Park, Florida. Take It Down and stay protected with world-class custom poker card guards from TakeItDownPoker.com. Specializing in custom designs that are handmade in the USA. They make great promotional items for your company events or personal items for yourself, friends, and family. Check them out at TakeItDownPoker.com. This is Mike Sexton. Want to win at poker, finish in the money, and consistently win at cash games? Join me and other pros at a WPT boot camp. You'll get hands-on training, sharpen all aspects of your game, I'll let you do it the right way. and learn to play like a pro. Our two- and three-day camps are held at the most famous poker venues. Many students recoup their tuition after just one camp. Our goal is to make you the best poker player you are willing to be. Start winning now. Go to WPTBootCamp.com and put the odds in your favor. WPT Boot Camp, your fast track to the final table. 
<laughs> Welcome back to the Jacksonville Poker Room at Orange Park Kennel Club. All right, all right. You got me. Caught me bluffing. I'll put the straddle on. You want to put the re-straddle on? It's 800 live. When I was younger, I would have loved wow. I know. Look at all that free money sitting in there. Come get it. Come get it. $50,000 minimum buy-in here. Blinds are 100, 200, <laughs> with a $400 table ante on the big blind. <coughs> Tyler raises a 2,500 after Rick had straddled and Chris had re-straddled. All right, Chris, so why do people straddle? Well, I think that it's twofold. One, they like to make the game bigger than it is. So if you're going to make a raise after somebody straddles, you're going to have to make it a decent amount. And the other thing, too, is that if they straddle... It gives them the last action on the first round of betting. Very good point. You can only do that in cash games, though. Andrew's going to call with his pair of fives. And Rick, I'll play any two cards Raheem calls with Doyle Brunson's famous hand. And Chris makes it four way to this flop party. Double straddle hand. Someone's going to get hurt. Flop is a seven of hearts, three of clubs, jack of spades. Checks around to Tyler. He bet $6,300 into a pot of $10,500. Chris is going to make the call with the best hand, two sevens. Oh, Tyler catches up, hitting a queen on the turn. Check. The river is a deuce of hearts, no help for Chris. Only way Chris can win is by betting, and that's exactly what he does. Makes it eleven thousand to go. I call. Tyler calls, shows the best hand, and takes down a pot of forty-five thousand dollars. Good down. You see Jason Mercier's huge stack. But he hasn't really won a lot of pots today. But that doesn't mean he hasn't won a lot of pots in the last three years. He's been absolutely on fire. He's won two World Series bracelets, an EPT main event, a couple of bounty shootouts at the Mohegan Sun in Connecticut. Guy's just totally on fire. I have a Shirley Temple. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I was like, me too. Straw with a bit. Well, you got a bendable straw. <laughs> Shirley Temple? Isn't that your go-to drink, Chris, my teetotaling co-host? What a funny guy. <laughs> yes, I am. All right, a much better hand for Rick this time around. He calls with A7 offsuit, as does Eric Utter with two eights. Tyler raises a 1300 with a suited king queen. Jason's going to come along with a suited A6. As we know, Rick hates to fold. Eric will stick around, too. Flop is deuce, tray six, two hearts. A great flop for Eric's eights. Surprisingly, everyone checks, and we see the seven of clubs on the turn. Again, a good card for Mr. Utter.
Wow, what a river. Eric gets punished for slow playing, and Jason has no idea that that card was the worst one for him. He bets $5,100. That third heart might slow things down, though. What was the action on the river? Runner, runner. He bet, and what did what did he do? He just called. It was a, yeah, for, hold on, hold on, hold on. It was a, it was a checked flop. Oh, was it hard? Was it eight? Checked. Was it hard on the river? Hard and on the flush? river, yeah. So there was a flush I on board. Can't raise. I can't raise. <clears throat> we mentioned some of the exciting things coming up here at Jack's Poker Room, but perhaps the best is the televised World Poker Tour event in 2012 which will really put these nice rooms on the map, Scott. It sure will. They're going to have their third room open by then. Should be an amazing event. It's going to be a lot of fun. Your ball's going to call with ace nine offsuit. Eric Berger, who we haven't heard much from today, raises to a thousand with a pair of loosely connected hearts. Paul's going to make the call. Our flop is 5, 6, 10, rainbow. And Paul checks. Eric actually connected here. He's going to bet 2,000. Paul's going to test him here, raising to 4,500. Oh, a check raise. <laughs> Eric calls, and the turn is the king of clubs. Paul quickly checks. No fear in Eric's eyes. He pushes out a bet of 7,500. Don't forget, people, this is real money. That's $7,500. And Paul decides not to play back, and Eric will scoop his first pot of the show, $19,000. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more High Limit Poker action from the Jack's 50K game at Jack's Poker Room in Orange Park, Florida. Bust Out Poker Apparel and Accessories has changed the look of poker forever. Designed by poker players for poker players, Bust Out has premium quality men's and women's tees, hats, hoodies, specialty jerseys, and custom accessories. Isn't it time to start showing the world you're serious about your game? Then go to bustoutpoker.com and see our entire collection. Plus, get a sneak peek of our upcoming 2012 Bust Out Babe calendar. If you love poker, Bust Out is your brand. Bust Out Poker. Poker never had a dress code until now. Take it down and stay protected with world-class custom poker card guards from TakeItDownPoker.com. Specializing in custom designs that are handmade in the USA. They make great promotional items for your company events or personal items for yourself, friends, and family. Check them out at TakeItDownPoker.com. Welcome back to the Jack's 50K Cash Game. I'm your host, Scott Long, with Chris Casenza. Chris, look at that. Andrew is texting or tweeting away. Whatever did players do before smartphones? Did they actually have to watch the action? I think they made wardrobe changes. <laughs> All right, Rick calls with his ace do suited. Paul will see a flop with ace four. John will two with a suited jack nine. Whatever happened to raggy aces being a bad hand? <laughs> Not at this table. Andrew takes a break long enough from texting to see his two black nines. He's going to raise to 2,500.
We know Rick isn't going to go anywhere. <laughs> But Paul folds. And John calls. Flop is 5, 10, 6, 2 diamonds. Pretty decent flop for Andrew. He's going to keep the pressure on. You bet $4,500. Rick's going to fold, but John's going to stick around with this diamond draw. Turn is a jack, putting John in the lead. And understandably, Andrew slows down here. John checks as well with some added protection going to the river. Last card is the four of clubs. Andrew checks. John Racer's going to bet 7,000. Racer's from the Tampa area. Good friend of ours. Andrew's going to have to give it up. John's going to win the pot. $23,000. You know, we mentioned Tyler Smith being on our cover back in September of 2010. The reason was he won the World Poker Open main event at the Gold Strike. And, you know, he's won so many events there. I mean, he's like the best player to come out of the Gulf region. All right, Jason's going to race a 700 with a suited ace tray. You know, that's a sign of a good, young, aggressive player, Chris, raising with that hand instead of limping. That is true. Rick calls with Jack-8 offsuit. I always like coming in for a raise when I first enter the pot. Paul's going to raise to 2100 with pocket 10. I like the re-raise there with a pocket pair. You really want to thin the field. It's not a powerful hand, but it's pretty strong. Jason, our Davy, Florida resident, will make the call. Our flop is seven ace ten, giving Paul a set of tens. That's the second time Chris he's raised pre-flop and flopped a set. In about 2,500. He is truly blessed. <laughs> and Jason calls. This is where you can get into trouble playing those baby aces. Rick picks a bad time to test the table, raising the 7,200 with just a gut shot straight draw. Notice how quiet he is now. <laughs> That's true. Paul just calls, and I like this call. I mean, really, what is he afraid of? Getting the feeling that Jason didn't think the hand was going to come down like this. He wisely deduces he's probably beat somewhere and folds. Turn is the queen of diamonds.
Paul will bet 12500 This actually gives Rick a double belly buster. Rick is going to fold. Nice hand. And Paul wins $36,000. Oh, please, don't give Robel the button. Uh -huh. the last uh, hand of the we're going to. All right, let's get the quadruple straddle on for the last hand. The 800's already out there. 2, 4, 8, 16. You can do it last one time. You can Good do it. Grief, man. I'm not being talked into it. Racer can afford 3,200. <laughs> not being talked into 1,600. Are you right. kidding me? You're not going to do the 16? I'm not that, buying you. Is that 800? Is that 8? What, yeah, what is the 8? Yeah, it's a Put sleeper. up the 4. Last hand. So, so if, you, if you fold, it's live. And then otherwise, you can take it back. If he folds, it's live. Otherwise, you can take it back. Okay. Well, we, we couldn't quite get the quadruple straddle on for the last hand. And it is the last hand. We're a little sad. Had a great time up here. And wow, what a great last hand for John Raisner. Pocket aces. This is it, boys. He's just going to call with him, though, Chris. This is it. Uh, interesting. Jason raises to 2,700 with a city king queen. That's understandable. Eric Berger looking anguished. He's going to have to let it go. Surrenders his pocket sixes. You know Rick's going to play this hand. <laughs> we just don't know what he's going to do. He's always looking for action. And he makes a call. Raise your hand if you're surprised, Scott. <laughs> My hand oh, is not raised. <laughs> no one ever wants to fold the last hand. No. And no one wants to fold Jack-10 suited. Chris is going to make the call. As does Tyler. And now Chris John Raisner is facing four opponents in a raised pot with pocket aces. Gee, I wonder what's going to happen here. This is exactly what he was hoping for when the hand began, knowing that someone would raise behind him. I think he got a few more customers than he was expecting, though. He'll take care of that problem right now, I suspect. going to put an end to this madness. He's going to bet about pot. $12,000. <laughs> $12,000 pre-flop bet on our last hand. I love it. Speaking of anguish, you know Jason's torn here. He's got a pretty good hand, and he knows that Raisner could be doing this with anything. Jay Money likes to mix it up. Jason, a former high school basketball standout, Knows this isn't a slam dunk. I'm sorry, that was bad. <laughs> I was going to give you a pass. <laughs> so much money out there. Nice little chip trick there. Yeah, I wonder if it falls in the pot whether it counts. <laughs> One last look. Yeah, same hand. Well, you know, he didn't want to release those cards. Speaking of not wanting to release their cards, you just know Rick is just dying to play this hand. <laughs> this is pure torture for him. And now Chris standing up. Usually you do that when you're all in. He gets out of the way, too. Gonna need to see a flop. And now. Tyler folds, but they're gonna let us see a flop anyway, Scott. What a wild end to this Jack's 50k cash game at Jack's Poker Room. John Racer wins with pocket aces. Oh, Jason Mercier, what a flop top pair. Oh, and Tyler Smith would have had a flop flush draw. And Eric Berger would have turned a set of sixes. From all of us here at Jack's Poker Room in Orange Park, Florida, I'm Chris Casenza. And I'm Scott Long from AntiUpMagazine.com. We'll see you at the tables.